calm, dignified, resilient. These are the scenes organizers had called for, but few expected it to look quite like this. Protesters of all ages braving the pouring rain to march. The crowd swelling in every direction, bringing parts of the city to a total standstill. This sea of protesters marching through the streets feels like it's never going to end. A lot of these protesters will have faced tear gas, rubber bullets over the last few weeks. This torrential rain is certainly not going to phase them. These demonstrators had a point to prove. Many had felt weeks of clashes and shocking scenes at Hong Kong airport on Tuesday had tarnished their movement. Beijing branding the more violent protesters close to terrorists. But as they arrived on Sunday, they were united. People, power and peace, their weapons of choice in the battle for their image. Last week, there's a lot of protests in the airport, and I think that caught a lot of attention for the whole world. That's why I think today is one of the important day for us to stay peaceful and try to be a rational and um, civilized group of people, because I know the world is watching us. As night fell, the true test began. As protesters converged outside the government complex, it seemed like this could end like so many protests before. Tear gas masks at the ready, trepidation police could come in at any moment to disperse the crowd. Then came this. Small clusters of protesters spreading through the crowd. Mission complete, they chant. Everyone, go home. We uh, have a victory today. We have uh, nearly two million people coming out to um, voice out our five demands peacefully. So uh, we want uh, today's protest to be uh, absolutely peaceful. And then, so that's why we are uh, encouraging people to go home. Eleven weeks into this movement, they've proven they still enjoy broad support. As more people take up the cry, the demonstrators disperse. No need for riot police to move in, these protesters were policing themselves. For the first weekend in weeks, tear gas masks unused.